All right, the Toronto Raptors finally in the NBA fucking finals. First time in franchise history. I'm so fucking excited for tonight's game. Game one of the finals begins 9 p.m. Eastern time right here in Toronto. I'm not really in Toronto. I'm in the suburbs. I'm out in Mississauga right by square one where they'll be playing the game as well on a big screen outside. They're doing it in so many cities representing Jurassic Park, supporting the Raptors all the way across the country. The entire country of Canada is showing their love. I'm so happy and excited for today. Now to talk a bit about the series. The Raptors can beat the Warriors in this series. It will be tough. The fact that Kevin Durant is going to miss the first game, probably two if you ask me, tells me the Raptors need to jump out on the Warriors and try to take advantage and take both games at home. They have to be able to stay with Steph Curry and Klay Thompson at all times. Draymond Green, one of the best passers in the game, let alone best passing big men. He's a phenomenal basketball IQ, like a Marcus Soul, but with more athleticism and a bit more youth. Well, a lot more youth. But anyways, the Raptors can contain the Golden State Warriors. The regular season don't mean much, but it was nice to see that the Raptors actually could win in the Oracle Center back earlier on in the season when they beat Golden State there. It was the first time since 2004. And everybody seems to forget that, yes, the Warriors have won a title without Durant before, but wasn't LeBron James missing Kevin Love for the entire finals in 2015? And didn't Kyrie Irving get hurt in Game 1 of the finals and miss the remainder of the series? And then in 2016 without Durant? Didn't the Warriors have a 3-1 series lead on Cleveland Cavaliers? And then who won the finals that year? Oh yeah, LeBron with that phenomenal comeback to win the title. Then Durant jumps on board. They win two championships. And now we're where we're at with Durant questionable for who knows how long. Don't know how serious or not serious that injury is. But obviously if he's missing game one of the finals, there's got to be something to it. That's more than just a minor bumper or slight whatever at this point in the season. So the Raptors need to take advantage. They got the athleticism, they got the basketball IQ, and they have the defense to be able to contain Steph Curry and Klay Thompson, especially with how many screens they like to run through. And the most impressive thing about Golden State without Durant is their off-the-ball movement, which is also what I love about the Raptors when they're playing to the top of their game. Their off-the-ball movement is some of the best in the league, and these are two of the best teams in the NBA with their off-the-ball movement. I, the only thing I, I'm going to say I want to guarantee about this series is it goes six games. No matter who you pick to win, I bet and put my money on the Raptors to win the NBA title. I've also got the Raptors, money on the Raptors on bet 365 for them to win the series in six games because I don't expect Durant to be much of a factor. And if they run into Marcus Cousins a lot, I think the Raptors can take full advantage of Boogie Cousins with how little he's played, the injuries he's had, the injuries he's coming off of, and everybody's been ramped up for two months now in the playoffs. The Golden State Warriors haven't really been tested at all throughout the Western Conference. While the Raptors, they've been battle-tested against the MVP of the league in Giannis Antetokounmpo, who everybody thought would run through the Eastern Conference, especially after the regular season they had, and that he had. His supporting cast was phenomenal most of the year. Bledsoe, Middleton, etc., Great team, young, inexperienced, that might have been their flaw, that might be the reason the Raptors were able to prevail and win four in a row against them. The Sixers, who everybody says, who's got the best starting five in the NBA? So many people will tell you the Philadelphia 76ers. What did the Raptors do? Sure, it took four lucky bounces at the end of the game, but they took care of the Sixers, won that game seven, set off a monumental moment in NBA history, that pose at the end when Kawhi's waiting for the shot to go down and beads peeking around the backboard looking to see if the shot's going to go down and then it goes through the basket and the city of Toronto and the country of Canada exploded. And Orlando, even though they weren't a top team, they were, what, 